Hi everyone, it's Jellica here from aprefix.com and welcome back to my channel. Well, I've got some really exciting news to share with all of you guys and I also wanted to share with you some things that I've been up to the last few weeks. So I decided to do it in the form of a vlog. I've never done a vlog before, um, but I had a lot of fun filming and a lot of fun kind of putting it all together and I hope that you enjoy it. But first, my news. You might remember that a few weeks back, I shared with you that I was preparing to launch my very first Etsy shop, and it is now up. It is called Loom and Fiber, and it's where you can find all of my handmade fiber art and woven decor. It's a small collection, and rather than just telling you about it, let me show you the shop. Here we are on Etsy.com. Most of you are familiar with Etsy, but for those of you who are not, Etsy.com is an online platform for um, global artisans, makers, and creatives of all kinds to sell one-of-a-kind items. And to find my shop, you just have to click in the search engine and put in loom and fiber, all one word, no spaces, and you'll get into my shop. So this is it, loom and fiber. I'm so excited to be um, featured here on Etsy. And this is just some of the items that I've already begun selling here. They're all handmade fiber art and wall decor and some made to order items as well. You can see right here, I've also got some keychains, lots of different fun neutrals right now and some colors like blush and blue. But overall, I'm just super excited to have the opportunity to be able to sell some of my pieces that have been accumulating here uh, in my home. And I'll be adding more pieces a little bit later on. But overall, very, very excited, very, very pleased. And I've already sold a few pieces already, which just completely blows my mind that I've already started to sell pieces that I've sent off. I've also started a couple of social media accounts. One is on Instagram, so you can follow me there, at Lumen Fiber is my handle, and I've already started to post some behind the scenes shots and some product shots, and who knows what else I'll be posting there. As well, if you prefer Facebook, I'm also on Facebook, same handle, at Lumen Fiber. There I am with my first collection of handmade weavings um, that I was able to get up on Etsy. Now, for those of you who are DIYers, um, don't worry, I've got you covered. I do have plans to expand the shop. I do hope to be able to also offer craft supplies and instructional videos, patterns, um, you name it. So it'll be a very slow build, but in the meantime, um, if you're interested in some of these fiber art pieces or somebody else um, that you know of is interested in fiber art, then um, feel free to um, send them on over to Loom and Fiber. So I was really excited when some of my first orders for the shop came through. And here I am just inspecting one of the pieces, just making sure that there aren't any stray bits still attached and um, for each piece that I send out um, I just make sure that it's wrapped in tissue paper roll it up properly um, for those of you who are considering starting your own shop um, this might give you some ideas about how to um, package and get your items prepared uh, for the post packages all ready to go. I'm really excited to get these out to some customers and uh, so now I'm going to be heading on over to Canada Post where I'll be uh, sending these off. And yes, I'm not a fashion blogger. This is the outfit of the day. Um, spandex and uh, merino wool top because I get cold a lot so there you have it. <laughs> My husband's listening in. <laughs> So 
So just taking you into my um, craft space. That is the um, fiber art piece that I made. It's a macrame piece made of three millimeter, a single twist macrame cord using um, the vertical double half hitch. And I did a tutorial for you guys um, not too long ago, which I will leave a link in the description box and also um, a link here. You can just take a look at it at the top right hand corner. Once you master that knot, then this is the exact same process. These are the coasters that I made and you might recognize from the tutorial, but it's, it's exactly the same. It's the same macrame cord, it's the same uh, cream cord, same black cord, uh, with the exception that I did use some green in this one as well. But you can even see that it is the exact same macrame cord, um, it's the same thickness and everything. If you feel comfortable making these, then you'll be able to make a large piece just like this one. This took me probably upwards of nine or 10 hours, I think probably 10 hours. And then it's gonna take me a little bit more because I'm gonna be cutting the bottom pieces off. So I haven't decided the length and then I'm gonna be attaching a hanger at the top. going to be using a um, fabric glue. I keep this upside down just so the glue is always draining down. I've got the cap on. It's a nice little trick for those of you who are always having a hard time trying to get that last bit of glue. Um, so I'm going to be using this Alina's Stop Fraying Glue. It's a permanent fabric adhesive and I only use a tiny little bit on parts uh, that I feel like could potentially fray or just to add a little extra um, strength to that knot so it um, it won't unravel or anything. So that's the finished piece. I'm pretty happy with it. I think I'm going to keep these. I'm not going to comb them out. I might add a dab of that glue at the ends only just so it doesn't fray. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. And then it's going to be hung up on the wall. I really love how modern and minimal this macrame wall hanging is. It works beautifully in our great room space, really goes well with all of the neutral colors. I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. When your kitty cat takes your chair, what do you do? Oh, he's too cute to remove. No, I'm right here, mommy. I want to stay. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Burger, who is on the left licking himself, and uh, Frit, who's sleeping currently in my work chair, are my constant companions whenever I am in my craft space or working on stuff uh, for the blog, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Later that day, Hubby and I went for a drive just outside of town. It was such a beautiful day and I just really needed to get out. 
Um, so I decided to tag along with hubby. He was actually driving to our property that we co-own and I thought I would pick up some craft supplies while I was out. Passing through the water. Oh, it's bumpy. You're bumpy. Hmm. Here I am the next day with my branches and I'm just cutting them into randomized pieces about um, you know four to six inches approximately um, mainly with my hands if I can get away with it um, but where it's really really tough um, you know I'll use garden clippers even my foot just to have a little extra leverage I really want there to be a really natural and kind of almost raw look to each of the pieces um, because I just love that for various craft endeavors but also um, I'm thinking about making a wreath at this moment which um, I do end up doing at the end and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you a sneak peek into that. So here I am pulling out some packages of moss that I've had for a long, long time. And what I ultimately decided to do with my wreath was to create a branch slash mixed moss wreath. And I really, really love the way it turned out. Here it is hanging on our front door. I'm super, super excited about how it looks. I really wanted that woodsy look. And I share the full tutorial on the blog. I'll leave a link in the description box below as well as a link in the top corner right here. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed today's vlog format. I know that I enjoyed filming it. If you did, then give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to check out that DIY wreath tutorial that is on my blog right now, aprettyfix.com. I will leave a link in the description box below so you can check that out. And until next time, take care everyone. Bye.